Oh, don't you just love it when Google Maps says it's two and a half hours and it's bloody three and a quarter hours? It's like, oh my god, I think they must thought I was driving a Ferrari, not a blooming trailer for the beast. Is there any way to put some shit in the map thing to say that you're towing a trailer? <laughs> anyway, we're here almost on time. As you can see, the sun's cracking over the trees. The lasses have all gone, what the hell happened, Bush Bee Man? Where the hell are we now? So we better get some ropes off and see if we can get out of here and hell, maybe the lad will shout me a coffee and some cake. <laughs> So someone was asking me how long are the girls going to be here and oh, I don't know, really know, because they'll make it up. If they get a honey flow they might be here for a little while. If nothing happens we'll be doing this next week. But anyway, let's find out together. Could be good, could be shit, but we'll see soon enough. Oh Mr Captar. Oh man, this is well travelled this little buggy. But it saves a lot of lifting by hand. But I don't know whether it's um... <laughs> Anyway, it's a good instrument, a good instrument toy. So we'll see. We'll see what happens long term. I wonder if we should make one of those Scandinavian bee houses. Then you wouldn't have to unload anything. You just drive up and they're everywhere. Anyway, the lad reckons he doesn't know what a Scandinavian bee trailer is. So they're basically over there, they've got it sorted out. So they have two rows of bee boxes and a strip down the middle and you open them out the back. So they have like little doors and you can pull the little door out and service everything in the back. So, I don't know, that might be kind of cool. I wonder if you could sleep in the middle on a winter's night, you'd be nice and warm, wouldn't you? <laughs> These girls are very excited on it. Just wondering if I should put a bee suit on, but I'm, I'm sure as soon as I get stung, I will. I'll try not to flick them. That'll be a bad idea. Ah. Uh. Anyway, nothing moved much, which was good. I almost look professional, but let's not get carried away. Because <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Hello girls, what's going on? I think I'm going to go and put my suit on in a minute. This is getting silly. Everybody's just getting a bit excited. <laughs> Have your morning coffee before you get out to work. Then we'll be right. <laughs> Get off. Yo! Now they're getting excited. Oh. 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 Place comes prepared with pine needles. <laughs> Don't even have to bring a bag. Even though I have got a bag on board. But... This is my dad's old bee smoker. Not that he was a big beekeeper, but he had a few bees on the farm. So, actually we've had a few people send in some photos of their, their um, dad's old stuff or their granddad's. So if, you, if you're cleaning out your dad's shed or your granddad's shed and you come across some old beekeeper equipment, send us a photo. And even better, if you've got some new stuff and some old stuff, and just we can have a bit of, we can put that up on the Facebook page and feature it on the show. So we can chase the girls back inside. <laughs> come on, chicky babes, back to bed. Goodness me. They're mad keen to get into it. They can smell the blossom. Let us amongst it, they say. Get us off this bloody trailer. Here we go. Oh well, we'll see if we can get some of these ladies off. Give them a new home. Some new food to eat. No Jenny Craig for you lot. Have a bit of a scout around the hills, trying to find a place to be. Oh, it's a bit of a play on words, isn't it? A place to be. <laughs> a place for the bees to be, anyway. <laughs> and we come across this little joint, which has got a nice little bit of blackberry right now, and some nice um, eucalypts that are going to flower after that. So hopefully we get a bit of a flow. With beekeeping, it's always a little bit up in the air. You just Make your best decisions and then see what happens. Ultimately, it's up to the ladies to figure out whether there's anything worth having. You just make your, what is it? What would they say? It's an educated guess. Well, shit. 
That would have been good. You'd have had to unload them all by yourself then, champ. If I'd broken my leg. Another wood being pressed. This would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> What's it done? Have we lost the wire or something? What have you done, you mad machine? <clears throat> Feeling strong? I guess so. <laughs> Guess we're doing it by hand. Oh, there's another job for when I get home. Oh, shit. God. <laughs> Friggin' hell. The joys of beekeeping. God. Good bit worse, I suppose. At least we've got more than halfway. Just only got queen a little while ago, so they're still a bit toey. But that looks pretty good. Now all we got to do is find some water, load our broken lifter on board, and uh, we're all good. Then we might go and have ourselves a coffee. So we just got to meet our water requirements, so we can have some water for them to drink, which is what you have to do when you drop off some bees anywhere. You got to give them some water. Mind you, there's a few dams around here, so we'll see what happens. Whether they whether they like my mouldy water or they want some fresh trickling creek, I don't know. But anyway, whatever, we'll put out some water for them. So right, see if I can choke myself. <sighs> the things we do to make some honey up bright and early in the morning, get a little bit of exercise. <sighs> My poor unfortunate lift's lost the wire somewhere. <laughs> Oh well, at least that'll be a relaxing job this afternoon. Hopefully, if I get motivated enough when I get home. <laughs> see if I can get stung. This is the this is the stinging bit because they're all a little bit stupid at the minute, the girls. Ta -da, da -da, ta -da. Come on, just run, you piece of junk. Can you do it? Can you do it? <sighs> Look at that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Look at that, not even a sting. Well, one on my hand, one in my other hand. But anyway, no sting on the head just yet, so but I shouldn't be bragging too much. Anyway, I'm going to tie on my lifter. Stop it, girls. 
I wonder if we can let it down manually. Oh, well, maybe we don't have to. Well, that's just a little bit odd. Anyway, cool. That means I don't have a job when I get home. Well, I think if we're going to get any sillier with this project, I reckon we might have to get a truck and a little forklift or some of the, one of them craney things, I don't know. Most people around here reckon the forklift is the go if you're going to go to the next level, but we will have to see. At the minute, we're all still manual, so got to get fit somehow though, I guess. Burn off some of my Christmas pudding before I put it on. <laughs> anyway, put the ramp away. I just think this hobby's just really gone to the next level of stupid, I think. Ah, oh, hell. Hopefully all you guys out there in YouTube land are enjoying this as much as we are. Because um, this is a bit of an adventure. I think it's got a little bit out of hand, but still, who knows? We might, you never know, we might make something out of it. But thank you all for supporting us. And oh, get away, my bees are trying to eat me. <laughs> Thanks for, all, thanks for all you guys subscribing and just giving us a few donations here and there, kicking us along to help finance this. Well, finance the show. I'm spending plenty of money on me beekeeper and I haven't got too much left for the show, but you guys are helping making it happen, so good on you. Oh, I think that's rather successful. Because it's, look, these are the girls that we put the new um, and, um, Calaloni creams in, and hell, they're much more relaxed. They're still a little bit shitty ass as they would be when you first get moved. Oh, I've got one here, a bit crooked, but um, just hold that thought. <laughs> of course, they're still a little bit toey because they've only just got moved, but compared to when they weren't requeened with the angry queens they used to have, man, we wouldn't have been stung to bits. They used to sting you through these leather gloves. So if they keep this up, they might calm down enough you won't need to wear a glove so much. So how bloody good would that be? So get yourself some good queens. One of the bloody good parts about migratory beekeeping, even though you've got to get out of bed at two in the morning and it's completely bloody insane, and you're asking yourself, What the hell was that about? You idiot. But then you get to come to a spot like this. I mean, this is a little bit of a hidden beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, I tell you what, you could bring your deck chair, and well, you better not bring your bar because it's going to be a very bad fire danger today. But hell, you could sit here for the day and chill out. I reckon I might just do that one time when I come down. Just lay back and check out the view. Good on you. Ah, oh, that nearly rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> well, charming. Of course, the old blackberry, she's a bit blooming prickly ass. <laughs> That's why I got in a bit of trouble. Anyway, lovely weed from England. Thank you, all you folks in England, for letting us have your blackberry bushes. But, tell you what, doesn't make bad jam if you can risk a thorn. But the ladies are having fun anyway, they found the flowers. I reckon that's going to be good. But we'll find out what blackberry jam tastes like soon. No, blackberry honey. You stupid man. <laughs>